Mr. Sitchin, uh, you are a historian. You have studied uh, the, the, the Sumerian clay tablets, yes. and you wrote some wonderful books, and also a few of those books have been translated into the Dutch uh, language. Three of them. Four. <laughs> Here is the other one. There is one more. And yeah. uh, you have studied this whole subject from beginning of mankind. What's your opinion about a big step in our evolution? The first thing <clears throat> that is important to realize is that uh, the so-called UFO phenomenon or the possible, uh, uh, is, others say, alien spacecraft or alien visits is not a new phenomenon. It's not a phenomenon that began in modern times, even uh, in, in the past, just a century or in the millennium. Uh, this goes back almost half a million years. And uh, indeed, uh, in, in my talk on Sunday, I, I will include now that uh, the subject came up, I, I include depictions of UFOs uh, from cave art from 25 and 30,000 years ago. But the ones who really uh, left us a legacy of information, both pictorial and, and textual in written text are the Sumerians, the first uh, known civilization that uh, blossomed out uh, in what is today Iraq about 6,000 years ago. And not only did they uh, submit and record and left behind for reporters, I, 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 I'm more a reporter than a historian because I think I'm able to report to people today what was known and evidenced and experienced the thousands of years ago. And what they say is that uh, not only that Earth has been visited repeatedly, but they identified the source of the home planet, let's call it, from which the people uh, who operated those spacecraft have come. And uh, second, they uh, made it clear, not only that we are not alone in the immense universe, which uh, the most uh, doubting uh, person would say, okay, uh, mathematically it's possible that with so many uh, billions of suns and, and, uh, and galaxies there could be a solar system and maybe life evolved, but that there is one more planet in our own solar system that comes to our vicinity roughly every 3,600 years, and it is during those times that intelligent beings far more advanced than us, capable of traveling in space some half a million years ago, started to come and go between their planet and our planet. So it's not only that we are not alone in our own solar system, but that those who came here were directly involved in bringing us about through genetic engineering by manipulating genetically the hominids who have evolved on Earth through evolution to bring them up to look like them and think like them and being able to learn from them. So the UFO phenomenon, in my opinion, if it is put in the context of ancient times, yeah. is the, the best corroborating evidence for the veracity of the Bible.